talk about Thailand and you immediately have visuals of Phuket, Krabi and Pattaya beaches with limestone cliffs rising out of emerald water. We have seen those images so many times already, isn't it? But do you know that apart from the beaches and the vibrant nightlife, Thailand is also popular for its tropical rainforest. There are 127 national parks in Thailand, of them 22 marine national parks. Hi, this is Sarita and Kamal from World Kumo. Welcome to Thailand Travel Series on our travel channel. In this video, we are going to take you to Thailand's one of the most popular national parks, the Khao Sok National Park and list down the top things to do. But before we get started, hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon next to it to receive notifications from this channel and also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Handle name is World Kumo for both. Now without any further ado, let's get started. One of the coolest things to do in Thailand when you are looking for an adventure is to head to Khao Sok National Park. Established in 1980 as Thailand's 22nd National Park, the Khao Sok National Park consists of a thick native rainforest, waterfalls, eye-catching limestone cliffs and an island-stubbed lake. Getting up close with elephants, deep jungle trekking, night jungle camping, canoeing, lake trips and many more adventurous activities are the highlights of the Khao Sok National Park that will give you the experience of a lifetime. Khao Sok National Park is in Surat Thani province of Thailand. Its area is 739 square kilometers and it includes the 165 square kilometer Cheolan Lake. It is considered as Thailand's rainiest spot and dates back 160 million years, making it one of the world's oldest rainforests. Dotted with lush limestone mountains and filled with tropical rainforests, lakes, rivers and waterfalls, Khao Sok is home to a staggeringly diverse range of wildlife and plants. One of the largest flowers in the world, Rafflesia, can be seen here. There are more than 1500 species of bamboo along with a variety of wildlife inside the sanctuary. Khao Sok National Park is easily accessible by public services from nearby Phuket, Krabi and Surat Thani. Now let's talk about Khao Sok National Park activity areas. The park can be split into two main areas. The first is the location of the park headquarters and the visitor center. The second area is further east at Ratchaprapa Dam and Chiolan Lake. The two locations are 65 kilometers apart and over one hour of driving. So please take that into consideration when planning your trip. A trip to Khao Sok National Park should include activities covered in both the areas. Khao Sok excursions break down into four categories. Hiking and trekking, local adventures and Thai culture that can be done near the headquarter area. Chiolan Lake trips can be done on a day tour or you can stay overnight in a floating bungalow. We are now going to list down top things to do location-wise. Please note, we have already covered all the activities in detail in our Khao Sok Travel Vlogs Part 1, Part 2 and Part 3. Don't forget to watch those videos after watching this travel guide and also read the blog post for additional information. Let's start with the Khao Sok National Park Headquarters and the Visitor Center. The headquarters area is easily accessible by public transportation such as buses and minivans, which stops by at the main road junction 1.8 km from the park entrance. We are standing at the Khao Sok National Park main road and this is the road where you will find a number of shops, restaurants and accommodations as well. There are plenty of restaurants and shops along with some budget hotels located in the area between the main road and the entrance. Being the main market area, this place is always a buzz with tourists. The shops have all sort of basic camping and hiking gears along with clothes and other accessories.
There is also ATM and several restaurants lined along the road. Guest houses and tour operators around the headquarters area offer activities such as canoeing, rafting and guided tours on different areas. On the main road itself, you will find some budget hostels best suited for those traveling on a tight budget. The hostels are basic but clean with restaurants on the ground floor. Towards my right is the main road and this on the left is the road that leads to most of the resorts. Around 3 kilometers further east of the main road are some high-end luxury and jungle-themed resorts for those looking for a themed jungle adventure. These resorts are expensive but will provide you an experience of a lifetime. Let's talk about things to do at headquarter area and campsite. Excursions near the headquarter area fall into the following three categories. Hiking trips done inside the national park, local adventures and Thai culture tour. Let's start with trekking and hiking. Activities such as half day and full day treks, deep jungle camping, night safari and Rafflesia trek are organized inside the Khaosok National Park. Kasok National Park is home to a wide variety of waterfalls and caves. Many of the waterfalls in the park can be accessed by hiking on the dirt road that starts on the east side of the campsite. Local guides must be hired latest the day before. You are not allowed to walk longer trails on our own because it's easy to get lost as it is a real jungle with wild animals. The National Park entry fee is 300 baht per person. Inside the park is Thorn Chloe Waterfall Trail. This 7 km long trail along the Sauk River is the main trail of the park. There are many shorter side trails between the trail and the river. The first 2.9 km of the trail until a checkpoint guarded by rangers is freely accessible by tourists and is more like a narrow dirt road. On this bit of the trail, two waterfalls, Wing Hin Waterfall and Bangwa Rat Waterfall and one swimming pond can be easily visited without any guide requirement. The half-day trekking program ends at the Bangwa Rat Waterfall, 3 km from the visitor center. The duration of half-day trekking is around 3 to 4 hours. For full day trekking, a guide will be required to walk from the third waterfall right up to the 7 km of the trail, which is proper jungle trail passing by several waterfalls, one swimming spot and ends at Thorn Cloy Waterfall. We opted for a full day hiking program and hiked up to the Thanswan Swan Waterfall located 6 km from the Vista Center. Guys, it's very very humid here, so make sure you wear very comfortable clothes, preferably cotton trousers and cotton shirts or t-shirts. And for your footwear, you need to wear some open footwear, open toe footwear, something similar to this, because you will be walking through the river as well. Or if you want to, you can carry your floaters, your water shoes, and when you get close to a river bank, remove your hiking shoes and put on your water shoes and cross the river so yeah this option is definitely there but only if you want to increase the weight of your backpack <laughs> well we chose well we decided to go ahead with the floaters and they are pretty comfortable as well
The waterfall is on a tributary of Sook River, accessible by crossing the river and hiking through a slippery muddy trail and badding that can be quite challenging for some. We just crossed the river and have reached on the other side and now it's going to be one and a half hours hike. We have to, this is literally going to be the trail that we have to walk onto to reach the waterfall. The trek will bring you to Thailand's most beautiful rainforest and a land of diverse flora and fauna. Wandering through the dense jungle looking for rare species of plants and animals and taking a dip in the small pools with waterfalls above gives you the real jungle thrill. The duration of full day trekking is around 8 to 9 hours. Now let's move on to the second activity that can be done inside the Khao Sok National Park and its name Deep Jungle Camping. For the more adventure seekers, go for an overnight deep jungle camping. There is a camping ground inside the Khao Sok National Park. The area is quite spacious with a river running through it. The activity includes hiking up to the camping site, relaxing, cooking Thai food which will be done by the guide. After dinner at 7.30 pm, that guide will take you for a 2 hours night jungle trekking and after return, you will sleep in the open on a hammock with an overhead mosquito net. If you don't wish to go for night camping, you can still explore the wilderness in the dark. A guided night jungle trekking inside the national park starts at 7.30 pm. During this 2 hours trekking, you will experience jungle like never before. The forest is abuzz with sounds of cicadas, leaf insects and giant crickets along with the sound of a stream in the distance. Surrounded by shadows and dark silhouettes of towering trees and branches sticking out every now and then, every step you walk into the pitch darkness will be a thrilling experience. <laughs> During the trekking, you may come across many nocturnal species such as giant spiders, lizards, frogs, tadpoles, insects, tarantulas and even snakes over the trees a few feet off ground moving along a branch or sleeping. It's important to pay attention to the instructions given by the guide to have a safe and fulfilling experience. Ooh, we call it brown back snake, eh? Nice. They're sleeping, they take a risk. Sleeping? Yeah, you take a risk. If you want to see body here, you look from under. Ah, oh, see. You see? Yes. <laughs> Let's also talk about the very popular Rafflesia trek. This four to five hours challenging hike goes deep into Khao Sok National Park. This trek is generally undertaken by tourists between December and March to watch the Rafflesia flowers, the largest in the world. Now let's move on to Khao Sok local adventures. If you are looking for water activities, go on a guided canoe trip to explore the Sok River. Hop onto a bamboo raft or go for river tubing. In addition to the river trips, elephant bathing and bird watching are great ways to spend your days around the Khao Sok exploring nature. These activities are carried out outside the Khao Sok National Park. Let's get into the details of each. The two hours canoe trip offers plenty of opportunities to enjoy the surrounding nature. Float down the river passing through the exquisite scenery of Khao Sok with the cast cliffs rising straight up from the river banks. During your journey down the river, you will stop on the forested river bank to explore a small cave on your own. It would be an amazing experience entering the cave and examining the stalagmite formations. After the cave visit, you will get a chance to feed the fishes and return back to your hotel. In addition to the canoe, you can also explore the river and the forest that surrounds it on a bamboo raft. The raft may or may not follow the same route, but you will definitely have an amazing experience floating down the river.
Our Sauk River tubing is a unique adventure. Best during monsoon seasons from June until November when the river is high. During the two hours activity, you will pass beneath towering limestone cliffs covered in unique flora. You will also have a great chance of spotting birds and butterflies flit across the water surface. It's a fun-filled activity you can do during the lazy afternoon hours. Kausok Elephant Sanctuary provides a safe space for the older and injured Kausok elephants to enjoy life instead of working in exploitive situations. The elephants in the sanctuary are taken good care and provided with food, water, medicines and shelter. During the 3 hours elephant experience activity, visitors get a chance to feed, scrub, bathe and interact with elephants. Kausok is famous for housing a large variety of birds. Sunbirds, chestnut-headed bee-eater, brahminikite, great hornbill and many more bird species can be found here. Tour agencies organize full-day and half-day bird-watching trips. Now let's move on to Thai culture. Experience Thailand culture at its finest with these activities. Thai jungle cooking, Thai massage, visit a local village, enjoy hot springs and indulge yourself in batik workshop. <music> Thai cooking courses are very popular among tourists traveling here. In Khao Sok jungle cooking experience, tourists learn the old ways of cooking with natural materials such as bamboo and banana leaves. Immerse yourself in the beautiful jungle setting and learn how bamboo turns into a pot for cooking. You will also learn the traditional method of preparing rice, where rice is wrapped in banana leaves and boiled in bamboo. Yeah. Two folds, right? Okay, this is bag now. Good. All the rice packets inside this bamboo. Yeah. So this is going to be the pot now. In addition, you will also learn how to prepare some other local Thai dishes. Atmian. Yes. Uh, banana blossom tempura. Banana blossom tempura. Tempura. Yes. Tem tempura. 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 Yes. This. And fern soup. Fern soup. Coconut meal soup with fern. Okay. okay. Coconut yes. milk soup. Yes. Mm -hmm. And mango tea. And cooking. Mango. Tin. Mango tin. Mango tin. The duration of this activity is two to three hours. That completes the activities that can be done near the Kausok headquarters and visitor center area. Now let's move on to the second location, the Cholan Lake. Tucked away in the thickets of Kausok National Park, the Cholan Lake is the highlight of Kausok National Park and one of the most scenic places to visit in Thailand.
It is a 185 square kilometer artificial lake with limestone cast emerging from the emerald water. Covered by trees and plants, the limestone cast provide homes to many birds and animals. The lake has many raft houses also called the floating bungalows spread all over the lake. Activities such as lake cruise, hiking, bird watching, cave exploration, swimming, kayaking and overnight stay in one of the raft houses can be done here. A trip to Chualan Lake will be a delightful experience. Most of the hotels and tour agencies organize several Kaosok Lake tours. We are going to list down two popular packages. A full day Chiolan Lake trip that covers a long tail boat ride in the lake, small trekking, cave exploration, lunch break at one of the raft houses, swimming and kayaking. The second is an overnight stay at Chiolan Lake which allows visitors to sleep in a floating bungalow. Now let's get into the details. For full day Chiolan Lake trip, Start the day with a drive from Kaosok to a colorful local market. Here you will get the chance to pick up some snacks and even buy clothes and accessories. A further one hour drive will bring you to the Cheolan Lake. Collect your entry tickets which is 300 baht per person and hop onto a traditional long tail boat for an unforgettable tour on Cheolan Lake. Cruising the lake surrounded by towering limestone cliffs will be a mesmerizing experience. These dramatic limestone formations, some of which reaching an impressive 960 meter, are dense and host a spectacular array of life. After sailing around the lake for roughly an hour, you will get down from the boat and begin trekking to reach one of the caves. During one and a half kilometers trekking, you will come across some lizards, birds, and a variety of plants. Or gliding lizards. That they, the last time, you know, they, they're eating the ant or insect on the tree. Mm -hmm. But they have special than other lizards. Wow. You see? Kind of Batman, but not really. Yeah, and look from. Surely they knew why the Batman. Look from behind. Oh, beautiful Batman! Yeah. Fly? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not fly, but gliding. Gliding. Okay. Like a like a. From the tree and then glide down. To the bottom of other tree. Okay. Sorry. That's like. Did fear me? No. Oh, oh no. Yeah. And then, if you want to know when when, when they gliding. I show you. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, from ready. Gliding lizard. One, two, three. Whoa. Yeah. You will then take a ten minutes bamboo raft to reach the entrance of a cave. Which cave you will be exploring will depend on the season. In our case, it was a Pakaran cave, also known as the Coral Cave. From the bottom of Indian Ocean, but uh, you know, like a landslide from Asia and Europe, slide to west. So the cracking with Indian Ocean and lift up the bottom. Oh, that is the name of the cave. This is so beautiful. Look at this one. Yeah, it's like a coral from exactly. under the ocean. Wow. After the cave exploration, you will be taken to one of the floating bungalows to have lunch. After lunch, you can go for swimming and kayaking in the lake and enjoy the magical scenery all around. Later during the day, you can sit, relax and simply take in the gorgeous views before making your way back to your hotel in Kaosok. The trip starts at 8.30 am and ends at around 5.30 pm.
An overnight stay at Cheolan Lake will allow you to spend the night under the stars in your own private Khao Sok National Park floating bungalow. Your first day will include everything in the day one trip. On the second morning, you will be taken for a jungle safari followed by relaxing. After lunch, you will be taken back to your accommodation in Khao Sok National Park. So that brings an end to Khao Sok National Park travel guide. You must check out the blog post where we have mentioned more details and pricing. You can find the link to the post in the description box below. Hope this travel guide was useful. Give this video a big thumbs up, leave us a comment and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more such travel guides. We will catch you soon in our next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.